So I'm going to turn to Crystal first. If you had a magic wand, what, according to you, would be the biggest contributor to green jobs and green opportunities that um, employers could scale? Yeah, I think, you know, um, I'd love to have a magic wand, by the way. Tell me if anybody knows where to get one. Um, I think that if where we are now, as we're kind of beginning on the journey of understanding what a clean economy, especially clean energy, is going to look like, um, for employers who might be a little kind of confused about what's happening, you know, really um, thinking about what we know works in workforce development, things like registered apprenticeships, things like pre-apprenticeship, um, looking at models where there's evidence and um, really kind of considering how they can make that happen. So not, you know, not all employers are going to have the capacity or resources to do that especially small and medium. And so really looking at where there's some existing industry sector partnerships committed to proven practices like uh, apprenticeship, like registered apprenticeship um, or youth apprenticeship. That's something that we're very involved in as well. So trying not to become overwhelmed by things that they don't know, by turning to things they do know and building in and looking for those existing um, sector partnerships and ecosystems. Um, you know, the other thing I would say is that given what we know right now about the labor market as well as the future, this is an all hands on deck situation, right? So we need workers from every walk of life who may have been left out of the equation before uh, they they need to be part of the equation now if we're going to succeed and reach I, our national goals around uh, climate change as well as our economic goals um, nationally and regionally. So, you know, for employers to achieve their own goals, they're going to have to look at, you know, really the whole, um, the whole of America and understand where they're not pulling talent from, how they can invest in them. Uh, particularly those underrepresented communities and how they can support them coming on board into the clean economy. Um, so those would be kind of my initial kind of thoughts and takeaways um, as we look to scaling. 